in this edition of this little trailer, we're going to wire up the lights onto this trailer. Previously, we had hooked up electric brakes. As you can see, right now we have the junction box installed on there, and we have wires ran for electric brakes. But we have nothing for the actual tail lights themselves. And that's what we're going to start on today. We're going to hook up our seven pole wiring harness with the molded connector, and we're going to hook that up to our junction box that we installed in the frame. And we're going to match it color for color. Inside the junction box, there are the colors labeled, and we're going to match them up color for color from this seven way molded connector. Now, what we're going to do next is hook up our wires from the trailer into the junction box itself. Now, there are some differences in the code. This is where you go by function and not by color of the wire. Yellow is going to be left turn on the trailer, and it's going to be red on our junction box. Right turn is going to be green on our trailer, and that's going to go to brown on our junction box. Brown is going to be running lights in the trailer, and that's going to go to green on our junction box. Now, we're going to go ahead and just secure all our connections with the hardware. All right, let's go ahead and run the wires back down through the frame, back towards the taillights. We use the pre-existing holes in the frame, and we'll just take care when we go across the suspension components, we don't get the wires anyway, so they don't get matched between the axle and the frame itself. All right, next we'll go ahead and install our taillights. We'll start off with the grommet. We'll install that into the bracket that's actually gonna hold the taillight. All right, next what we're going to do is install a wire harness, or, 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 or the pit called the pigtail, come off the taillight. And these kind of are keyed, so you can't really mess them up. They only go in one direction. Just make sure you take time to make sure the pins are all properly lined up, because it is kind of hard to push together. But if you have it perfectly straight, it'll go together just like it's supposed to. And there's a press fit. It doesn't really lock or anything. And then we can go ahead and install our light. And we just got to push that into the grommet itself. Okay, we'll go ahead and start making our wire connections. And yes, the wires will not match up in colors. So we have to go by function. All right, so we'll start off with our running light wire. Now, on our trailer wire itself, it's going to be brown for running lights. And then on the wire harness coming from the light, the black wire is going to be the running light circuit. We'll go ahead and make that connection first. There's a variety of ways we can make this connection. In this instance, we're just making it simple and using the scotch lock, but you can use a butt connector or any type of wiring connection. Our next connection we're going to make is for our left turn, and that's going to be yellow to a turn signal circuit on light, which is going to be red. And lastly, we'll go ahead and make our ground connection or we'll make a connection straight to the frame of the trailer. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and bundle up our wires and secure them to the frame of the trailer. Okay, next we'll go ahead and start work on the passenger side or the right side of the trailer. And we'll go ahead and do the same process as before, except this time we'll be using the green wire hooking up to the red wire. And the yellow wire, we will just leave alone. All right, now we'll get all the wires installed and secured. We'll go ahead and put the lid back onto our junction box. Then we'll go ahead and test our wiring harness on a vehicle. Okay, one final check of our lights. Make sure everything's working correctly. That left turn, right turn, running lights, and brake lights. And that finishes our install of our wire harness and taillights on this old trailer.